In this video, I'll show you guys how I did this uh, 5D carbon with the uh, option 4 process and the result. Here's a little result before we get this started. And let's get the show going. Then I have to move on to 4 and 5 together using this. Or I can use this to make that. Let me just take a look, see if it works. Okay. With flies, it definitely works. With flies, we are a go on this. And the length wise, we are also a go on this. So with flies, it's okay. And so this is just what I for this piece. So this is the one I'm worried about, but let's try it. So this is the, the correct weave direction, okay? Real carbon, vinyl carbon. It's very close. I'm gonna sort of option four on the screen again. I'll do the four first, cruise around, pull under the sun, take a look, and then do the phi, if I think I need to go to phi. About the knife tape is, you don't wanna be stingy about this. So I'm gonna line up line as far as I can go on the top. Okay. And right where the that will be the line. In theory, again this is just theory. Because the top lining up. This is a straight line, we get a little edge right there. We'll have to deal with. But at least we get a straight line right there. Okay, so the order I'm going to do is, is this. I'm going to line these two out first, and then I'm going to do this one, and this one, and then this one. But in reverse, I'm going to pull this first to cut the vinyl out first using this. Then I'm going to pull this line second, then I'm going to pull this third to cut this shape out, okay? Okay. This will be the final one to rip off. I'm gonna go inside a little more so it will overlap a little bit. It will not show. So now this is just more of an art form than anything else. Steady hands. Using one hand to pull. Bring this all the way out. And cut. Looks like this. With a little bit overlap. And cut. Okay. So that'll be the second one to pull off. And zoom into. And come in right about here. That's the second one, and the first one will be that guy. So I do this guy. I'm gonna pull as far up as here, as far back as this place, because the vinyl is gonna reach that far. It weighs some tape for sure, but it's easier to pull because they try to trim the vinyl. I just need to mimic this shape again.
Okay, so gotta rip that one off first. Then do this and that, then pull this off. Heat up the tape a little bit so it sticks to the hood. I can lay the vinyl down. Well, that wasn't easy. So now I gotta cut that out with a razor blade and start tearing. Turn things down. This vinyl is a little difficult to work with. It's easier to remove the plastic piece, the clear piece in the front to protect it, because they start to splitting apart. When it's splitting apart, it's almost impossible to, to get into a uh, uh, lay down correctly. That was a big pain in the butt. After I removed the that piece, everything lay down easily. Besides the normal vinyl, it's pretty thick, so lay down. Okay. Out first. Vinyl carbon, real carbon. Vinyl carbon, real carbon. Okay. Let's rip this. The weave matches up. The next one. Razor blade has to help a little bit. Next, gotta do the cut. Next, we gotta. The issue is the line is hard to grab, so I'm gonna use this tool to help me grab the line. There you go. I'm gonna stop a little bit. Okay, I think that worked.
a new blade. It's quite a little part of the wrap. Cutting this. Okay, option four is done. Option four. I guess there's no better time to review a 5D carbon versus a real carbon. Can you tell which one is a real carbon, which one is a 5D carbon? I'll show you the sinks right here. Okay, you look again. It's really hard to tell. Very hard to tell. 5D versus real carbon. I guess the real carbon is a little more clear and shiny. What I can do is do a ceramic coat over this 5D carbon. Most likely it will look like as shiny as the real carbon. Close up between two. That's a real carbon. ID carbon. Now scroll up the link in the image where I got this from. It's pretty impressive.